Alright, thanks for joining us for this second video about our cedar hot tub, our DIY tub build. And uh, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to work on cutting our staves out of the boards that we purchased. We mentioned those in the previous video. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Uh, we've got a bit of a challenge though because uh, getting the maximum amount of clear out of these boards is going to require some creativity. It's not as simple as ripping the boards in half and then cutting out the staves. You could do that, but you're gonna waste a lot of really good wood. We'd like to keep uh, as many of these boards full width as possible because we wanna use them for things like stairs, benches, handrails, etc. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna carefully uh, isolate in each one of these boards where the clear wood is, and then we're gonna uh, devise a way to get that wood out of there with the least amount of waste. Sometimes that means using the uh, chop saw here to cut the ends off of a board and then sometimes, or first, and then sometimes it's going to mean ripping the board in half first because sometimes two staves are right next to each other but they're kind of offset and so if you were to cut that board using a cross cut saw first you'd end up cr uh, cutting across one of your perfectly good pieces of clear. So it's going to be a bit of a process so come along with us and we'll make some hot dub stave stock. So I'm all done with my cross cutting for the moment. Uh, there are some of these boards I'm going to have to cross cut one more time. But what I've done is I've tried to get the maximum amount of wood out of each one of these boards. And then some of this wood will actually be spare wood also. Some of this wood is just more effective if I rip it down the middle first. For example, I might be able to get a stave here and a stave over here. But if I cross cut it now, I'll lose one or the other. So some of these boards, the longer ones, we're going to rip those first. And then we'll cross cut just what we need for that out of uh, the board and then some of the stuff I've already cut to length in preparation for routering the joints on the sides. so some of the stuff will be really quick and easy some of it I'll have to do a little more post work so let's get started uh, taking these down and we'll cut them in half we're all done with the ripping steps so we've got all these boards cut in half and for the final step we're gonna take these and we're going to harvest the clear sections out of them so we're gonna be cutting uh, 38 or inches or so of, of these and then we'll be ready to move on to the joinery so let's get the clear cut out of these All the stave blanks are all cut. Thank you, Alyssa, for all your help. Uh, she saved the day. My back started to spasm toward the end, so it's an unfortunate reality of this type of work. But this load of blanks is ready to go off and have the uh, joints put in them. Turns out we're actually going to have a friend from a nearby town do the joinery for us. Uh, it just worked out that way, and so it's really fun to work with somebody else. We'll try to do a really short clip of the joinery, and we'll also talk a little bit about tooling, so you could do it yourself if you so chose. Uh, we've kind of worked the bugs and kinks out of that, so uh, thanks for joining us for this video. Uh, if you want to learn more about our DIY cedar wood-fired hot tub, please watch uh, this next video that's coming up. We're going to talk a lot more about the assembly. Also, also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll put a subscribe button right here. And also, follow us on our blog. It's purelivingforlife.com. We have a Facebook and an Instagram. We'll put links to all that fun stuff below. Most of the stuff over there never makes it to YouTube. So please follow us over there, and we'll see you in the next video.